Hi everyone, welcome SAS program 90 days. Today is day 41. Welcome SAS via session. So in the last session we have done about uh, we are doing the some uh, SAS task. Now we are going more deep in the SAS task. Uh, now we are going for the forecasting one. Okay, so what is the forecasting? So everyone know uh, forecasting is kind of predictions we are doing uh, with the data. Okay, so in the forecasting, we are doing the time series exploration task. That uh, so, what is a time series exploration task? Is uh, create to graph and statics that enable you to view and analyze the your time series data. So let's suppose you have a time series data and you want to see what uh, is going on, where uh, my data is going, and you want to analyze your time series data. So we are using this time series exploration task okay so in these uh, says uh, in these time series exploration task we have uh, depend variables so that is a uh, mandatory one that is a dependent variable so dependent variable is mandatory one to give then we have the independent variables to run the time series exploration task you must select an input data source you must also assign a column to the dependent variable and the time id roles so what is a dependent variable so uh, whatever will be depending let's suppose i'm looking for the sales prediction so uh, i'm giving the sales as a my dependent variable so what is the independent variable independent will specify the exploratory input predictor or casual factor variable you can assign only numeric variable to this role let's see in this as via so this is my SAS uh, via studio so i'm in the developer SAS code so that is available here if you click here developer SAS code then you will see this uh, develop SAS code in this SAS studio so we are using this as task so set uh, task is available here so i click on this uh, left side panel we have this as task here okay so we are going in the forecasting one in the forecasting we are doing the time series exploration so i click on the time series exploration automatically they will be create uh, the view and uh, they give us select your data then we need to select our data so here we have the mandatory variable is only one in the task console we have here dependent variable that is a mandatory one so first of all uh, i selected my data so in this as help we have uh, a data is price data so i selected this uh, price data as help and then i selected the uh, my variable dependent variable because this is a sales data so i'm selecting the sales because i'm looking for the sales prediction in my data so this is uh, date variable also here for the time uh, series analysis okay so here we have uh, the sales next we need to select the date here independent variable so independent variable i'm selecting here so independent variable i'm not selecting here so i'm going into the we have two more uh, tab here transformation and another one is additional role so i click on the addition role now this is my addition role in the addition role we have the time id so for time id because this is a time series analysis so i'm giving the my time id as a date then they're saying uh, the season, uh, season length so if you have the season length, let's suppose you have the festival season so one month two months so you can give the uh, that season uh, length here so let's suppose selected the month okay multiply shift and the season length you can give here then uh, i'm going back uh, in the transformation in the transformation i'm selecting the accumulation in the accumulation uh, list i'm selecting as a sum because i'm looking for the sum uh, of uh, my okay so i selected my sum then I click on the run key now you can see here uh, they will be creating the first sort because uh, their time series data is here because we need to see uh, my data according to uh, to the date so first of all proc sort then we have the time series now let's um, exp 
expanding this view now you can see here we have uh, the detail here the name of uh, the data is work dot and uh, this is the labels all the labels are available here then time id variable is a date the time month length uh, interval is month and the length of season, uh, seasonal cycle is 12 then we have uh, the variable uh, name uh, unit sale La uh, label name is unit sales and the first and the last variable so this is the first and the last is the uh, your time series uh, data uh, this is time series starting from Jan 1998 to December 2002 so this is the sales value for a sales unit sales so 1998 to 2003 we have uh, the analysis so we have uh, the last variable till December 2000, uh, 2002 but now they are showing the data till Jan 2003 because we uh, predicted for the 12 months so they giving uh, for the uh, that particular one next we have the correlation of sales here we have this is the correlation of sales uh, is going ACF PACF IACF and the white noise prop uh, is here so this is my output data so that output is generated uh, by the uh, code so now you can see, uh, see here we have uh, this prediction uh, data till December 2002 but uh, this in the chart you can see uh, my data is uh, viewing till 2003 Jan 2003 So here we have more options so let's suppose uh, if you are looking for the analysis uh, for the series uh, histogram so you can put the series histogram seasonal cycles you can uh, select we have many plots here so you can select uh, the plot so cross correlation analysis uh, we have here. So cross correlation is when we independent variable is specified. So right now not selected the independent variable. Uh, so decomposition analysis we have singular spectrum uh, analysis we have. So many analysis with uh, basically depend on your uh, requirements. So what you are looking for uh, from your data depends on that. You can add the more one. So in this analysis we have time series series histogram and the seasonal cycle that is very important in the time series exploration so we are uh, viewing main three feature of uh, for this uh, time series uh, and series histogram and the seasonal cycle It will take a time because uh, I selected the many plots here. Now they will be create a uh, many plot here. Now you can see here we have the length of seasonal cycle is 12. Same uh, we have the analysis but we have the histogram here also. So uh, this is related to the uh, the sales value for sales. Maximum sales is done on the this pillar 7100. Uh, and this is my uh, unit sales by seasons. This is my seasonal decomposition and the ad adjustment for a sale. And this is the uh, singular value and this is the cumulative percentage so because the cumulative percentage will be going uh, like this but uh, if you see the singular value so you can easily uh, see where is my data is going so this is the SAS results uh, SAS results for the sales
this is a vector of sales so many analysis are available with the time series this you can easily analyze your time series data with the time series exploration and the basically uh, we are using uh, here is the proc sort for the first of all because uh, we are uh, doing the analysis on the date so first of all we need to uh, sort our date then we are using the proc time series so that is the important one and here we have the seasonality is 12 months uh, 12 months uh, we taken and the plots we are creating the series histogram cycle correlation decompose and ss so id variable is the date and interval is a month so in the var we have taken the sales and the accumulate we have the total and the transform is none okay so this is the mod uh, decomposition and and this last mode we have then ss for the ss here then in the last we are deleting from the uh, our uh, from the work library so this is how the time series exploration will be work on let's suppose we have the sales data and you have uh, some a uh, time series data so you can use uh, this time series exploration uh, task for easily uh, to see your data thank you so much guys